Did you hear about the cool chatbot that's available across Instagram and Facebook? Meta's Llama 3 is rocking the show. With new updates, it'll soon take over the entire customer assistance network. So what do we know about this cool bot? Meta's Llama 3 is the newest version of its big language models, and it's got some cool new AI features. The first Llama model came out in February last year, and it was one of the first big language models that people could check out and use. Then, they bought out the second version in July 2023. These models are different from open source web models because they don't just give you the code to train them, they also give you the weights, which are like the model's brain, and the code to use the model for different tasks. Meta hasn't shared the source code or the data they used to train Llama. They've only put out the weights and the code you need to use the model, but even that's a big deal because it lets researchers tweak the model and make new versions of it. Llama 2 was a hit among researchers and developers. They made lots of different versions of it and even used them in real-world projects. Now, with Llama 3, Meta has made it even better. It performs really well compared to other open models like Mistral and Gemma in most cases. They've come out with four new models that build on the Llama 2 design. You can get them in two sizes, one with 8 billion parameters and another with 70 billion parameters. Each size has a basic model and a version that's fine-tuned for specific tasks, like making chatbots that can talk to people. The number of parameters basically tells you how big the model is and how much data it learned from. So, the 70 billion model is better at some things because it learned from more data than the smaller one. Llama 3 is the engine behind Meta AI, Meta's fresh new assistant. You can find this chatbot on Meta AI across Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. It's also built into some search features on these platforms. All versions of Llama 3 can handle up to 8,000 tokens in one go. This means users can have longer conversations and give the model more complex inputs compared to before. A token is like a word or part of a word, so with 8,000 tokens, users can send bigger messages and get more detailed responses from the model. In the previous version of Llama, it can only handle up to 4,096 tokens. The Llama 3 models are now part of the Hugging Face platform, which makes them easily accessible for developers. Hugging Face has become the go-to place for companies like Meta and Mistral, all to share their models and data. I mean, developers and researchers often use Hugging Face to get these models. This integration with Hugging Face includes helpful tools like transformers and inference endpoints, which make it easier for devs to use the models in their projects. Plus, you can also find Llama 3 on other platforms like Perplexity Labs and Fireworks.ai, as well as on cloud services like Azure ML and Vertex AI. In addition to the two Llama 3 models, Meta has launched a Llama Guard 2, a safety model tweaked based on the 8B version. Its goal is to enhance the safety and reliability of the models used in the production. Llama Guard 2 applies necessary safety feature measures to make sure the model follows predefined safety policies. The Llama 3 models have demonstrated outstanding performances in different tasks. For example, the 70B model performs better than other well-known models such as OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and Google's Gemini. It excels in tasks like coding, creative writing, and summarization. The models were trained on a massive dataset containing 15 trillion tokens. This dataset is about seven times larger than the one used for training Llama 2. Such extensive training has played a big part all in enhancing the model's performance and abilities. Meta built special GPU clusters specifically for training these models. Meta is currently working on creating even more powerful versions of Llama 3. These future models are anticipated to have over 400 billion parameters, making them even more capable. They will be designed to handle multiple languages and modalities, which will make the model more versatile and useful in various regions and formats. And the larger model variant is expected to be released later this year. Meta remains dedicated to supporting the open source community by providing free access to Llama 3. This approach encourages innovation and enables developers worldwide to test and enhance the model. It's worth noting that Meta refers to Llama 3 as openly accessible rather than open source, highlighting its availability for public use while indicating some differences in licensing or usage terms. Llama 3 models are designed to work efficiently with hardware from Intel, AMD, and Nvidia. Intel has even provided a thorough guide on how the model performs on its gaudy AI accelerators and Xeon CPUs. This release of Llama 3 represents a big leap forward in the development of open models. With Meta's extensive network and strong partnerships with key industry players, 
It's anticipated that the model will be widely adopted in the coming months. Jerome Pacenti has some good news to celebrate following Meta's recent decision to launch Llama 3, a robust open-source large language model available for anyone to download, use, and enhance. Pacenti, who previously served as the vice president of AI at Meta, has long advocated for the company to share its tech with others for future development. However, his main reason for excitement is that his new startup will now have access to the new AI model that he believes is nearly as powerful as OpenAI's leading text generator, GPT-4. Additionally, it's more cost-effective to operate and offers greater transparency and flexibility for outside examination and modification. Sizzle's journey could signal a broader shift in the AI landscape. OpenAI made a huge impact with ChatGPT sparking a surge in AI investment and attracting over 2 million developers to its cloud APIs. However, if open-source models like Llama 3 prove to be just as good, developers and entrepreneurs might opt to stop paying for access to the latest models from OpenAI or Google and instead use open-source alternatives. It's going to be an exciting competition, Pacenti remarks on the rivalry between open models like Llama 3 and closed ones like GPT-4 and Gemini. Meta's previous models, Llama 2, had already had a significant impact. However, the company claims that they made the latest version even more powerful by training it on larger amounts of higher quality data. They also developed new techniques to filter out redundant or unclear content and choose the best mix of datasets. Pacenti explains that running Llama 3 on a cloud platform like Fireworks.ai is much cheaper compared to accessing GPT-4 through an API. He also highlights that Llama 3 can be set up to respond to queries very quickly, which is crucial for developers at companies like that, which rely on using models from different providers. It's a balancing act between speed, cost, and accuracy, he notes. Open models are emerging rapidly, with Llama 3 now leading the pack. Just weeks ago, he had the chance to visit startup Databricks as they were putting the finishing touches on DBRX, a language model that briefly held the title of the best open model. However, Llama 3 has now taken the spotlight. Ali Godzi, CEO of Databricks, describes Llama 3 as game-changing and notes that the larger model is nearing the quality of GPT-4, leveling the playing field between open and closed-source language models. One of the remarkable aspects of Llama 3 is its potential to make AI models smaller, enabling them to run on less powerful hardware. Just two days before Meta unveiled Llama 3, Mistral, a French AI company founded by former members of Pacenti's team at Meta, introduced Mistral 8x22b to the open source community. The model boasts 141 billion parameters, but it only utilizes 39 billion at a time, thanks to a design called a mixture of experts. This innovative approach makes the model significantly more powerful Let's be honest, it might also be in Meta's best interest to prevent OpenAI, Microsoft, or Google from dominating the field. So, share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you all!